Hi everybody, I'm going to make a sketch of Batman from Batman the Animated Series. He's a lot of fun to draw and I hope you will have fun watching this and try it yourself. And uh, I'm sure you can draw Batman as well. He's a great character, the Animated Series was wonderful. People are still talking about it today was made a long time ago, something like 25, 27 years ago, and it's still very popular today. Folks remember it very well. So I'm just making a pretty rough, quick sketch here. Um, pretty basic. I love sketching. I love showing people how to sketch, and that's what this video series is all about. I hope you'll check out my other videos. I have several where I'm drawing different characters, Batman, Harley Quinn, Joker, Superman, Wonder Woman, all kinds of different things. I hope you'll take a look at them and, and uh, see what you think. If you like them, please hit the subscribe button. That way every time I make new ones, you can know about it and, and follow along and watch them as well. I've also got a website that I've just launched. It's called Sketching 101. And that is www.sketching101.com. I hope you'll visit there. Tell me what you think. I've got links to videos and some other things on that site as well. I'm not completely sure what all's gonna be on there. I'm just working at it. It, it is launched now, but I'm still working at it and uh, trying to decide exactly what should be on there. If you have any suggestions, please let me know. You can contact me through that website or at my regular website, which is toddaronsmith.com, my, my full name.com. So please check it out and let me know what you think. Hit the subscribe button here on the videos. And if anybody wants a sketch, one of these original sketches like I'm doing, in the videos let me know that too and uh, I can make that available for you and you can get one of those just going through here and figuring out the anatomy of Batman of course he has a certain way of standing and posing and in this style he's got lots of muscle as I draw the arm here you might notice I'm doing the glove right now but as you notice there's a straight line on the inside of his arm and a curved line on the outside. That's kind of how you indicate his muscles in this style of drawing. Got a uh, uh, lot of straights versus curves here. And if you don't exactly know what I'm talking about, just continue watching and I'll try to show you as we go through this video. We want Batman to be very dynamic in his poses. And so that's why we draw him the way that we do. I love to sketch and I love to see other people sketching. And I hope you get a lot out of these videos and enjoy them. Hope you try it yourself. Let's see here. I can create his other leg that he's standing on. I've been drawing Batman for a long, long time. I just came back from a convention here uh, a couple weeks ago where I sat in the convention and just drew sketches of characters for people all weekend long. I just made sketch after sketch after sketch. And it was a lot of fun. These comic book sci-fi conventions are terrific. If you like watching people, then that is definitely the place to go because you'll you'll see all kinds of all kinds of costumes and and people and it's just a lot of fun a lot of great people there hey the pencil I'm using is a woodless graphite pencil made by Koenor it's a great feeling to draw with this pencil it's very smooth and 
dark. This is what the package looks like. Woodless graphite pencils. There's 12 of them in this package. I'm using a 4B. It's a nice, soft, dark color that goes down really well on the paper. And of course, speaking of the paper, let me show you what I'm using. This is Bristol Smooth, also made by Kohenor. And it's a great, great board to draw on. They have both smooth surfaces and vellum surfaces. I like them both. They um, have a pretty unique feature. You can take a page out of them, draw on that page, and put it back in. It's pretty amazing the way that they've done that. As you look at the paper that I'm drawing on right now, what I've done is I've taken out a page and I turned it upside down so that the ragged edge is on the right. And of course I do that because I'm left-handed. And I don't want my hand to drag across that rough edge. So I have it turned upside down and I draw on it and then I can put it back into the, uh, into the, into the drawing pad. And I keep it kind of like a sketchbook or a portfolio or you can, you know, you can do whatever you want with it. But uh, it's, a, it's a really great feature of that particular drawing pad and I use it all the time has some great uh, white surface to draw on it's very bright it looks beautiful what I'm doing now is I've got everything blocked in how I wanted it and I'm just kind of going over a bunch of these lines and making them look better making them stand out better I always want to darken in the bat that he has on his chest. There we go. Still being loose and sketchy with it. You know, not being too careful when I darken in something that way, but um, I just sketch these things because I love doing it. If you don't love doing it, then you should probably find some other thing to do. But sketching can be a, a great pastime, a lot of fun can be very rewarding and I hope you love it as much as I do. I'm, I'm always drawing something all the time. Going back to the eyes up here and just fixing this up so that it looks exactly how I want it to. I've probably drawn Batman thousands of times in the last 25 years or more. I actually have been drawing Batman since I was just a little guy, so I've drawn him many more times than that. But I only became professional at it maybe 25 years ago or so, 27 years, something like that. Again, like the video and subscribe to my channel. Visit my website. And uh, this one's just about done. I hope you've enjoyed watching this sketch of Batman, and that is how we do it.